Renting a house versus renting an apartment. So, when it comes to renting a house or an apartment, which one is the better choice for you? To answer this question, let's take a look at some of the pros of both options. What are the advantages of renting a house? Unlike buying a home, renting offers financial flexibility and a bit fewer responsibilities. Here are some advantages of renting a home you can expect. 1. You don't have to commit long term. Renting a house is an excellent way to try out a neighborhood or area before you buy, and it also gives you more flexibility if you plan on moving in the future. 2. You can move freely. Houses are generally bigger than apartments, so they're easier and cheaper to decorate. They come with their own yards and patio space where you can enjoy fresh air, flowers, or whatever else might strike your fancy. Also, renters often have more control over what goes into their homes than homeowners do, which means fewer unexpected costs. Your new home should be in line with your needs. There are some pretty big differences between the two types of properties, and it all comes down to what kind of person you are. If you're one for being independent and self-reliant, then a single family home could suit you. You'll have your own space and won't have someone else's messes encroaching on your domain. What kind of neighborhood do you want to live in? You'll also want to consider the neighborhood itself. Is it safe and quiet? Are there any places where you're likely to have problems with noise or crime? If you have children, this is especially important. Do they go to school nearby, and if not, what are their bus routes like? You can try out these questions on realtors and neighbors when you do your research. They're likely to be able to give you some insight into how people feel about the area and whether they'd recommend living there. How much can you afford to spend on rent? The two most important ones are how much you can afford to spend on rent and what kind of neighborhood you want to live in. Once you've determined your budget and location preferences, it's time to think about the type of home that will best suit your lifestyle. For example, do you prefer living alone or with roommates? Are there any special needs that need to be accommodated? Do you plan on having kids in the next few years? How much space do you need? If you're a single person, renting a large house or apartment with lots of bedrooms might be unnecessary. On the other hand, if there are lots of people in your life who stay over frequently, whether for extended periods or just for short visits from time to time, consider renting a larger home, so everyone has their personal space. Consider what kind of home makes sense for your lifestyle. If you want to raise a family, consider renting a house. Renting an apartment or condo means dealing with noisy neighbors on all sides. A house is a better choice if you plan to raise kids in your home and not just because of the extra space. If you like to entertain, consider an apartment or condo. Renting a house means being stuck with only one living room, unless you build out another room yourself, and sharing it with others who might not be as enthusiastic about hosting parties as you are. An apartment or condo gives renters more privacy and flexibility when it comes to hosting guests. They can put up temporary walls and serve food outside without worrying about upsetting their neighbors by making too much noise. If all else fails, should you rent an apartment or a condo? Some people simply cannot decide between renting a house or an apartment because they love so many things about each option. The best way for them is probably going with both options, renting an apartment near work during weekdays then staying at home on weekends.